Hey guys, welcome back to J-Dubs Aquatics. Today we're going to frag a few corals and the first one is this Aussie Lobo. Okay, so the first step is going to be to agitate the coral. Now what that does is get it to close up and the tissue will recede into the skeleton. It makes it a lot easier for us to get a clean cut without damaging the flesh. Now here you can see there's some separation between the heads and that's exactly where we're going to cut. A couple of things to remember here. We're going to be using this Dremel so make sure you wear an eye protection. And this is a diamond bit. The best way to do this is a bandsaw that you can run salt water through. I don't have access to one of those right now so I'm doing this with a Dremel. Now when you're making your cut, there's a few key things to remember. A Dremel cutting through bone is going to get hot, so you're going to need to dip it in water frequently to uh, prevent it from getting too hot and damaging the coral further. So we're just going to make several small cuts, dip it, and keep going until we get to where we need to be. Again, take your time, don't rush, and make sure not to cut any flesh. Now for those of you following along that might be a bit newer to the hobby, I know fragging can seem a bit intimidating, especially with LPS corals like this when you got to bust out a Dremel or a bandsaw. But it's really not that hard, and once you've done it once or twice, I'm sure you get the hang of it. Just take your time, go slow, and like I said, make sure not to cut any flesh. Now I'm flipping this around and kind of coming at it from all angles. It's kind of the easiest way when you're doing this with a Dremel. If I was doing a bandsaw, I'd probably just go straight through, but this works just fine. There you have it, two separate frags, ready to be dipped in iodine solution and returned to the display. Next up for surgery is the purple torch coral. Now this is also an LPS coral and we're going to also agitate this one before bringing it out of the water to get it to close up. And then we're going to make a cut here about two inches below the head because that's about how far we need to go to make sure none of the flesh is going to be down into the skeleton. This is a very simple fragging. We're just going to use the bone cutters, make one quick snip, and I'm not even worried about doing an iodine dip on this one because we're really not stressing it out too much. There you have it. That one's done. Last but not least, we're going to frag the Duncans. So I'm just going to agitate them, get them to close up nicely before we bring them out of the water and we'll chop this one up too. Here you can see there's a little separation between the heads there. That's the perfect place to make a cut. And if we didn't have some separation like that, I wouldn't attempt to frag this. Again, we're gonna be using the Dremel for this one, so we need to wear our eye protection. And it's kind of the same concept as fragging the Lobo. You're gonna make sure to stay away from the flesh make several small cuts and dip it plenty of times in salt water in between. And again the goal there is to avoid overheating the coral and causing any damage to it. So kind of the same way as the Lobo we're gonna turn this one a little bit and kind of make our cuts from all angles until we've got all the way through. And there you go, nothing to it. Ready to go on to a plug, iodine dip, and back into the tank. Here you see the Aussie Lobo frags, the Duncan frags, and the Purple Torch. 
I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and happy fish keeping.